Good afternoon, Trailblazers. I'm Zach Prince from the Vanguard TV. The Stomp Out Stress Club, or the SOS Club, has been doing many activities recently. Let's go to Alyssa Young to see what they're up to. Good morning, Trailblazers. I'm Alyssa Young with the Vanguard TV. Audrey Birch created the SOS Club. This stands for Stomp Out Stress. I started SOS Club when texting with my friend Paula, and we were both super stressed out about classes. And I suggested that we create a club for quitters and because we wanted to quit everything at the time. And then she said that we should start a club for ranting about things. But then I realized that ranting or quitting doesn't always solve the problem in the long run and thought that we should start a club for people who are stressed out. For our last meeting, the theme was The Greatest Showman, which has a lot of messages in it. And then we did a cup game where we stacked up cups to make it kind of like the big top of the circus tent. And that showed like to not give up and things will happen and the cups will like tip over, but to keep trying. Further on we did trying to make a card house and one team had all their cards perfectly like together. And then right when time ran out, they all fell down when they took their hands off it. Well, currently I send out Remind 101s, and in the mornings I pass out candy and like little notes to um, get people to come and remember that the, there's a club meeting. So there's food at the meeting, so like that encourages a bunch of people to come. And we do like fun dress leaving activities. And also meetings aren't mandatory, so because I want to want people to be stressed out about SOS Club, so that like helps people because they can come whenever and don't feel like they have to come. Like at our very first meeting last year, we had over 60 people come, which showed that if they didn't come to any other meeting, they at least took away that other people are stressed and they're not alone in, what, in how they're feeling. Yay, SOS! <laughs> Join the SOS Club by texting at LTSOS to 81010. This has been Alyssa Young with the Vanguard TV. Our LTHS cheer have tryouts already this week. Let's go to Laura Johnson who has an inside peek on LTHS cheer squads. Hey Trailblazers, it's Lauren Johnson with the Vanguard TV. Our cheerleaders have been working hard all year to keep our school spirit high and energetic at the games, pep rallies, and so much more. And sadly, our second season is coming to an end. The season has been really great. Um, we're all like really close, so it we work really good as a team. I think the season has been really good. I feel like we had a good first year of high school cheer, and I feel like we all really improved throughout the year. Um, our typical practices, we start off with like stretching for a while. And after that, I mean, it depends like what we have coming up. If it's for like pep rally, we'll go through the pep rally routine. If it's for like, it's like football season or basketball season, we'll go over like some cheers and stuff like that. Oh, we get there, then we just start stretching and jumping, and then we just go over cheers and practice material. <laughs> Next year is really exciting because we get to add on a varsity team. So we'll have, um, for the first time, all three teams. Um, so that's something to really look forward to um, in, in terms of what we can look forward to next year is just um, even more excitement and even more pep during football games. Um, and also the really pretty varsity white that the cheerleaders will get to wear. Tryout package just recently came out and there will be open gyms along with clinics in late February to help you prepare for trials in early March. Advice I would give someone who's trying out for cheer next year is probably just to like work on everything and make sure they're prepared for tryouts before the week, um, like working on jumps and tumbling or whatever they can to hopefully make the team next year. Um, tips I would give is just you have to be like confident, just like being loud and confident is basically like what they're looking for and just smiling. Get excited for our new LTHS cheerleaders for next season. With the Vanguard TV, I'm Lauren Johnson. Our very own ACT Act team has been bringing home the golds. Let's go to Julian Canals, who has the inside peek on how do they prepare and succeed at competitions. Good afternoon, Trailblazers. This is Julian Canlas with the Vanguard TV. In addition to winning the Super Quiz, 
Every student received at least two medals. In the scholastic division, Zhang Coulson placed first, Taha Kalilula second, and Luke Mello as third. In the honors category, Tanay Rishi placed second, Rohan Nagabarava third, and Brian Pang placing fourth. Additionally, Joseph Fadil placed fourth overall in varsity. Preparations are put into order for their success, such as endless hours of studying and complete dedication. From the Vanguard TV, I'm Julian Kenlas. Congratulations to the Lebanon Trail Theater UIL show, The Book of Everything, for winning second place at their district's competition and advancing to five districts. Also, congratulations to Olivia Hankins for winning Best Actress, Kat Clark for winning All-Star Cast, and Mia Wilson for getting Honorable Mention All-Star Cast. Way to go, Trailblazers! That's all for this week, Blazers. If you have any story or segment ideas, go to lthsvanguard.com, which is newly revamped. Have a great day, Blazer.